Welcome to today's program. And I'm sure you've been listening and getting a an under, getting an understanding of what's been happening in our world. These things are not new. They've been there a long time. COVID and today's technology helped to to amplify the voices that have been calling out this, the deception in the world for so long. Yesterday, we, we talked about a lot of things. And I did mention to you that the way to cure the effects of deception and the way to tackle deception is making the truth known. And that's what we're doing. We're making the truth known. We're sharing the truth with God's people. Because God wants to protect his people. God wants to guide his people. He wants to lead his people. And he does that through the word and through the Holy Spirit. He said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. If you don't know the word of God, you will be deceived. And if you're deceived, you will be destroyed. He said, my people are destroyed. The lack of knowledge. And you know, the word of God, let me read something to you. In Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 7. It says to you, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore what? Get it. Get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. You have to understand that. Wisdom is the principal thing. So he tells you to get it. And how do you get it? It starts with the fear of the Lord. If you would read in Proverbs chapter 9 and verse number 10, Says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The knowledge of the holy is understanding. So get wisdom, he says. 
get understand. Wisdom comes from God. In fact, the word of God is divine wisdom. And the Holy Spirit is himself wisdom. Think about that. He is the voice. The Holy Spirit is the voice of wisdom. And Jesus is the embodiment of wisdom. So the Bible tells us that Christ is made unto us wisdom. So no man is wise who is ignorant of the word of God. For the word of God is wisdom. No man is wise who is destitute of the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit is the voice of wisdom. Today I want to move a step farther from where we left off yesterday. And I have a radical question for you, and that is, do you believe in the kingdom of God? Do you, do you believe in the kingdom of God? 